Hey, what's going on, guys? Doug DeMarco here, and let's unbox some stuff, man. All right. We have the August edition of Lucha Loot. Now, this is definitely my last box of this. Uh, if you want to know the sordid details of why, check up here-ish somewhere from my last video where I go over the reasons. So, it is what it is. Now, this is supposed to be the makeup box. There was, uh, the last box was shipped out, and it was delayed. God long delayed. And there wasn't a lot of good customer service on the, on the delay, so a lot of people got super angry. Anyways, let's check out our t-shirt. This is the deluxe box. This is the Viva La Lucha, live in 619. This is from their event back in August. I believe around the 12th or the 17th, somewhere around there. It was a really big event, a lot of good names. You know, if you guys went out there and seen it, it was awesome. So, here's our mask. Woo. I don't know whose mask this is, though. Let's uh, pop this bad boy open. Oh, yeah. This is a full mask, too. No, uh, not a lot of breathing room in this one. So let's see this baby on a fat guy head. All right. Check that out. Ah. Oh. Wonder who this is. Let's uh I'm really really looking at it now. It's definitely not anybody that I know offhand, so let's get our little cheat sheet and find out who it is. This is oh, I don't think I've ever heard of this. This is uh whoop. This is Fishman. Fishman. Uh he's in the uh uh, Rudo Can't Fail article, so we'll check that out in a little bit. Awesome. Alright. Let's move my beer. Because, you know, it's the morning. I mean, you know, hit the sauce a little bit. Alright, let's get this bad boy off. Ugh, before I suffocate. Lords. Alright. And we have a little minifigure. From Rey Mysterio Jr. Little WWE Rumbles figure. Too bad. We have our first autograph. This is the VIP pass from Viva La Lucha. And I believe this is from Taya. Female Luchador. Awesome. Now the only problem with this, and one of the def one of the reasons I always fucking harp on these guys is the way they box shit is they just throw it in the box. And when you put Sharpie on something that has a slick surface, it'll transfer like so. You know. Now that's why we got some little discoloration there, because we're placed together and the Sharpie transfers on what's underneath it. You know. All in all, still a really nice autograph. Just I wish they'd take better care of their stuff. We have our Rudo Can't Fail magazine. We'll go over that last. Got a DVD, which is Desperados. Who uh, I don't think I know anybody in this one. Let's see. Uh, obviously, we've got Rey Mysterio Jr. Uh, Havante Guerrera. La, ooh, La Parca. I like I like me some La Parca. Uh, Perry Russo. Conan. No Conan. All right, check out the back of that. Gives you all the good matches on it. For all of you Lucha fans. All right, lay that down right there. Have a little lanyard that goes with the VIP pass. We have a program guide for Viva La Lucha. Now, this was August 13th, Saturday, the souvenir program. And if I remember right, what, there's an autograph inside here as well. So one of these, uh, one of the pages that's promoting the wrestlers and is autographed. Obviously, it's not Johnny Morrison. That would have been awesome. It is. Oh, here we go. Second favorite. It is Psychosis. We got a Psychosis autograph. 
I like me some psychosis. I'd, I'd really like if they, you know, had that mask with the horns and everything. It would have been awesome. Uh, I think there's only one autograph in the book. Ray Horace. A bunch of jobbers. All right. That's pretty awesome. We have our postcard. I don't see if... Uh, this is King... Man... Uh, King Cuomo? King Cuomo, maybe? I don't know. I'm terrible with names. And for our autograph, we have another Psychosis autograph. Psychosis pulling double duty. All right. Man. Lots of great autographs in this box. You know, lots of great items overall. I just... And I'm really sorry that this is my last box because I really love this stuff, but... You know, you got to put your foot down sometimes. So let's go through everything again. We've got our Psychosis Autograph. Our Viva La Lucha VIP Laminate. Which is over here somewhere. I got shit all over the place. You know, our, our postcard. Ugh. Our VIP program. Eesh. Come on, come on. There we go. Our VIP pass with the lanyard. And our Taya autograph. I am really happy they're showing some love to uh, the female luchadors. You know, that's awesome. And they should do a lot more of that. Our Desperados ring DVD. Our Keeping It 100 sticker. Our little uh, Rumblers. Ray Mysterio Jr. figure. Uh, check out that little guy. And our Fishman mask. We're going to have to check out the uh, the magazines, check out more of who Fishman is. Let's pop this bad boy. Ooh, she's awful. Steady. <laughs> I need to stop drinking. <laughs> oh, that's upside down. All right. Here's our magazine with Pussifier. All right. Let's see if we can find uh, some Fishman stuff, because all this is just articles. Uh, I don't think... Well, I should probably do that, though. I should think, but... No, there's no index. That would have been awesome if there was an index, because I could go right to it. But let's see if we can find Mr. Fishman. Johnny Adonis. Psychosis. Pussifier interview. Urban Aztec. The Mask Republic. You know... Oh, they're, uh, they went to see uh, San Diego Comic-Con. Jesus. The Mighty Luchador. The Women of Lucha Underground. You know, I really wish they did a lot more to focus on the women. Because I think that's where you can get a lot of, a lot of new viewers at. Especially the high-flying women. Because women in wrestling overall, you know, in the main two, you know, WWE, I guess you can call TNA kind of a main card. But the women are kind of ground-based, and it's still it's still not very good. Uh, let's see. Lucha History, Fishman, the story of Fishman. Four-man tag match, blah, blah, blah. Ooh, looks like this guy dates back to 77. So he's been, no, 1969. Uh, Jose debuted in late 1969 after being trained by the famous Oratorio Municipal in uh, Ciudad Juarez at the age of 18. His debut came under the name Goliath Reyes, later Titan, when he began wrestling full-time. Awesome. See, this is also nice, too, because it, it gives you history of the industry, especially if you're not very familiar with it. You know, here's some things I'd like to be familiar with. Yeah. All right. Well, that is it for the last Lucha Crate, guys. Uh, I will be replacing this with either the, the Slam Crate or one of the other crates here next month or the month after, somewhere around there. Uh, and anyways, thanks for watching, and you be awesome.